Is love really blind? I don't know if I can answer that, but what I can answer is if season three of Love is Blind is worth watching. Heading into season three of this series, I was a little bit skeptical about whether or not it could reach the same height as season two. I really love season two, but season three really does have some interesting characters that really develop throughout the series that might make this season a little bit better than season two. Now, I can't quite give you the details of who's with who or what's with what or who got married and who didn't get married because I don't want to spoil that for you yet. However, I'm going to mention a couple of characters that I think that each of you will like and possibly dislike as well. Absolute favorite character on the show is Cole. I'm telling you, this will be everybody's favorite person. Just trust me when I tell you that. He's funny, he's charming, he's absolutely ridiculous. Every single time he's on the screen, he just steals the show. And I love, love, love it because you never know what's going to come out of this guy's mouth. My other favorite character on the show is Alexa. I'm telling you, when I feel like you watch her, she seems like she's having a genuine great time. She's a great person. She's got a great personality. And the person that she ends up with, it's just, they're adorable. And honestly, probably my favorite couple on the entire show. I first sat down and decided to figure out what characters I didn't like through the first couple episodes. There was one person in particular, I'm not going to give it away because I like her arc so much that her character goes from so unlikable to so lovable that I just want you to discover that on your own. But there is one person in, in particular that just, I hate it from day one, and that's Bartise. This guy doesn't have anything about him that I like. Nothing. Nothing. There is a few moments at certain parts of the show where I'm, I'm like, mm, maybe. No. He's awful. I don't like him. I didn't like the way he talked to the people on the show. I didn't like the way he talked to his ladies, to his partner. Nothing about this guy is good. He is horrendous. Overall, I think season three might be my favorite yet. And I think it's because of the characters, right? These people that were introduced to and watching them evolve. Some of these people actually cared enough to try to evolve into these relationships. And that's what I think makes it stand out from previous seasons. Some of it might be like these people might actually be looking for love instead of maybe looking for an opportunity to propel a career in doing something else outside of what they're doing currently. I love the series. I can't wait for you guys to watch it. It debuts on Netflix October the 19th.